Welcome lads to the Burn the Career mode. Can you hear that? I think my Xbox is gonna blow up. Hey, what's up guys here? And today, welcome to episode two of the Burning Career Mode. And Jesus, yo, yo guys support, yo guys everything for the first episode, man. Like, I, it's actually beyond incredible. The video's been out for like 24 hours and we've got like over 20,000 views already, almost 2,000 likes already. Like, I didn't actually think we were gonna hit it and we pretty much already, already have. So it's, it's mad. So I just wanna say straight off the bat, thank you guys for support. You guys also love the intro as well, which I, you know, I couldn't wait to show you guys the intro. So thankfully you guys really enjoyed it. So with that said, let's get into episode two of the Burning Cream Mode. So as you can see right there, we did in fact sign Aaron Lennon as our second signing of the Burning Career Mode. And then honestly, that just looks incredible. But that just shows how the breaking news like it makes it feel so much more realistic I love that and if we look at our squad hope it was not just Aaron Lennon that we signed but he did also sign Danny Ings back from Liverpool he's back at Turf Moor he's back in Burnley Colours and it costs us 10.4 million so right now our formation is a 4-4-2 but depending on who else we sign that may change quite quick now if you guys did miss out on the first episode we should now be seeing something pop up about Matthew Loughton and what's happening with it. Is this him? No, another transfer for, for Scott Arfield. At least this time, it was my some random Brazilian club. Crystal Palace, oh for God's sake, it's Roy Hudson again. Really, have I really got to deal with Roy Hudson for like the fifth time? Oh, no, what? I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to do that. I just clicked accepted and... I don't, I don't know why I did that. I was supposed to negotiate. I guess we've just sold. Oh no. Oh no. Everyone's gonna shout at me for this. I've oh god. I was supposed to negotiate. I was trying to get like 4 million off him. I've got to say. Southampton should pop up anytime now about is he sold or not. Oh, I shouldn't have sold Scott Arthur. And another transfer offer, Kevin Long. 1.6 million. To be fair, I'm not gonna use him whatsoever. So let's see how much we could get off it. I'm gonna say 2.5 million. Um, see how much. See if see what they say about that, I guess. So my offer, come on, Domi Bellin. And two, okay, just over two million. I suppose I guess he's supposed to look like, look like Ian Holloway. Two million for Kevin Long. I'm not gonna use him, let's be real here, lads. And we could probably sign him at the back. So, I'm gonna accept that. So, Kevin Long, mate, he's at the doors. He's been with Burnley since, like, 2012 and has made, like, 10 appearances in real life. So, you know what? I think it's about time that Kevin Long he finally leaves the club. Bye-bye, mate. Why we are here? We are still looking to hear back from Southampton. We don't know if they've accepted wages yet. So, I'm hoping that they get, that gets sorted out anytime now. So, I asked you guys who should I sign for the Burnley Cream mode and these are some people that have shortlisted. So, let's have a look and see who we got here. Now, most of these are defensive, which is quite smart because the defense is something which I really do want to improve. Now, the first two are, in fact, right back stats. Hopefully, should replace Matthew Loughton because I'm not going to use Phil Barsley as my main right back. That's just not going to happen. So, we've got Audi Borgio and we've got Victor Moses. We've got Audi Borgio. Now, what I find most interesting about him is the fact that he has 12 months left on his contract. And I believe he's a well-known career mode lad. Now, by the way, I'm not like a career mode expert. I don't know, like, kids from Romania that's going to be, like, 90 to place. I don't know stuff about that. So, Odebarjo is a player that you could imagine Burley be linked with just because he's English pretty much and he's in England. That's really all you, all you really need to say. So, I'm going to push by and see what he says. All right, then. So, I don't know how much to really offer them. So, I think for, I want to say, safe bet, 7.5 million. Now, I don't know what, I think it's about 72, 73 rated, I believe, on Demarjo. I should know, to be honest, considering I'm trying to sign him. I'm gonna have a 7.5 million and see what they say. Hopefully, he does not leave the room or something. And what are they gonna say? And they're uh, going to, he thinks that's a fair offer. Oh no, I don't know if I've, have I overpaid? I think I'm able. No, no. I've got a bad feeling that I may have overpaid for Odebarjo. I really should know. I really should know about this. I guess it's time to agree the wages now, and let's see how much he wants. So we are here now in the office of dream. I find it quite annoying that he's got a red and white like tie. Like we're we're, we're Burnley, mate. What are you doing? But Odebarjo's right there. What a sexy bastard he is. He, he can't be that much. He, he plays for Hull. Like he, his wages can't be that bad. He's a right back, even though he probably will be our main right back for some time. I'm gonna play important. He can't be that upset. Like, he's coming from Championship to Premier League. It can't be, like, this can't be a massive issue. Important? Great, great. So, he's not shouting at me then. Okay, how much? He wants. He wants 11 grand a week. What? 100 grand after 10 appearances? Mate, we're burnt. That's nothing. That's peanuts, man. 11 grand a week. That is. That's mad. Except that. I'll take that stuff, hands. Yo, lads, our third signing of the Burnley Crew is going to be Arden Barjo. We've got our right back sorted. Now, the thing is, though, which I kind of worry about is the fact that. 
we are we, like Larton hasn't gone yet. He's not confirmed gone. So it, we have, it will be quite bad um, if I decide as a Marjo and Larton doesn't sell. I can imagine that actually happening to be honest. So let's get into our transfer and lads, welcome Moses Adebayo to Burnley Football Club. He's young. He's not like a ridiculous signer that like you can't imagine Burnley doing. So I think that's top quality. Look at his stats, man. Decent strength, very good pace, good agility. Four star we thought as well. You know what? Perfect. Oh, where's Loughton? I want this Loughton deal to be done as soon as possible, man. Because I want to get that money in right now. Also, Scott Arfield. Oh, uh, wait. One more as well. Oh no, it's Ben Me! Watford want Ben Me for 10.2 million. Well, first things first, Scott Arfield is now gone from Burnley. Let's be real, he may not be used that much, but I did want to get more from him than 4 million. So I have a go, I mean, that's just me being stupid. Ben Me for 10.2 million from Watford of all people as well. We sold Andre Gray to him in real life. Let's, be, let's try and be smart They are also a relegation rival, and he's probably our main centre back. Straight up reject the offer. I, I, I need him. I need Ben Me in the team, man. I can't imagine Burnley without Ben Me. So, what? Watford, just, just piss off. Stephen Four is back from injury soon. Happy days, lads. As we are waiting for the information back from Lazarus, which that, that deal's been happening for like over a week now, so it's quite annoying. But Sessignon, people recommended him as a, as a good solid left back that I could get potentially next season, and he's not good enough for Premier League right now. But we got Saw, so people recommended him as my centre back. Same thing, Johnny Evans, and also a lot of people also wanted me to get Chambers. Now, value 8 million, 75. 22 years old, he has a lot of years to grow. And just to reiterate, I'm not like a career mode like expert, so I don't know like what his potential is or what um, SARS potential is. Now, if we want to go down a realistic route, Chambers is someone that you could realistically imagine Burnley getting. Now, is he a player that we definitely need? Kevin Long sold, so Kevin Long is not a second person to leave the doors at Turf Moor. But that does mean that we are quite weak on a centre back department. We've got Tarkowski, we've got Ben me and that's really it so we do really need to send a centre back so we may need to go for Chambers. Oh, I loan offer for Goodmanson from who? I don't know what that I don't know who that team even is. Nastich, interesting team in that. Uh, I do uh, no no I, I can't let Goodmanson go. I need Goodmanson, he's just I love him. Wait. Oh oh so Loutin is staying. Loutin is Loughton is staying. But he just got rejected, so I've just had a right back and Loughton's staying. Oh, sorry Loughton mate, but I've got to add to transfer this man. I mean, I didn't intend to. I don't mind keeping you, but Twans have to sign a right back. He has to go now. He has to go. I'm, I'm so sorry dude. Considering right now, I have about 11 million in my transfer budget. Someone like Loughton to sell for me to go for another player. Now, I could try and go for Chambers now. A lot of people wanted me to get him. So let's see what we can do right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Harrison Wenger looks even as old in, in, in FIFA. Okay, so offer a transfer fee. Now, I could probably give him about 10 million right now. Dead long clause. Let's give him Let's give him 15%. Maybe that may give us some leeway. Submit offer. And what is he going to say? He thinks it's a fair offer. I, 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 don't, I hate it when he does that. Because I don't know if I've just got a good deal for him or not. 10 million. His value is 8 million. But I think it says that how much we should offer. About 15 to, or 13 million. So I think we got to quite cheap, 75 rated, 22 years old, he's a solid centre back as well and we do really need a centre back, it's all about wages now, he, his weekly wage is 56 million at Arsenal, mm. would he take a pay cut though, because I'm not offering 50 grand, away. I'm, we're Burnley, we are not offering that, let's just hope for the best here, he's still got a red and white tie, he, he, FIFA sort this out man, here we go Chambers there, I, does that, is that his game face, no way that's Chambers game face, that just looks weird to me, why is half these players also have Morgan Freeman as their main guy, I don't understand, okay so we have to offer the wage first though, I'm just going to go straight up 45, so 45 plus also 5 for the San Emora, so that is pretty much the maximum we can do. So let's see how this goes. I don't know if he's just going to tell me to like go away because he is taking a wage cut right now. I was going to say 43, 40 people on 5 grand a week, so he's lowering it down. Oh, so we'll be the minuses, man. If I do that, I have just enough. Now, after this, I will need to sell a player to pick up the transfer budget, but this is it. I've already made 4 signings after this, and 2 of them is going to be defenders. That should be it, right? That's, that's, that's going to be it. What? Oh, okay. Oh, I saw it's not quite what my client was hoping for, so I thought that I ruined it. But no. There you go, lads. We've just signed Callum Chambers for Burnley Football Club. That is our fourth signing. Now you have it, lads. Callum Chambers in a Burnley shirt. So now we have Sokim along. We're brought in a very, very solid centre back. And that's our four signings right there. <laughs> and we've got like, what, 11 grand left in our entire budget? Yeah, we need to sell some. So going for our squad, I'm going to go list up a few players onto the transfer. So obviously, I won't use him really at all. So sorry, mate, but you got to go, man. 
I don't think anyone will really complain about that. Strikers. Now, right now, I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six strikers. So, I'm going to be playing a 4 4 2. Who do we have to go? And the thing is, oh, Chris Wood, Niaki Wells, and also John Walters have signed for us like now in real life, so I can't sell them at all. Oh, man. I don't want to get rid of any of them, man. But we've got literally nothing left. So, let's see what happens. Transfer off for Stephen DeFord from West Brom. West Brom wants Stephen the Fort, mate. Nah, 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 nah. Only players take that goddamn cap off. Why is he wearing a cap in the game? Oh my god! I swear, if you saw the back of his head, you could see his receding hairline. Jesus! Why is he wearing a cap in the game? Why have they even bothered with that? Right. So you want Stephen the Fort? So let's let's give it plain and simple this way, man. It's Stephen the Fort. So I want twenty million. Okay. So there you go, twenty million. I'm not even gonna mess around here. Twenty million. If you want Stephen the Fort, mate. You're paying for it. Let's see what he says. I guarantee he's, he's gonna leave. He's gonna leave. Um, let's compromise. We're gonna be 12.4? Nah, 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 nah. 17.5 mil. That's a low, so I'm gonna go for Stephen DeFore. That's more. Can we sell for 30 million? 30 million? Get you and your cap straight out of Turf Moor. Get out of Burnley right now, man. Yeah, don't make that face at me. Get out the door right now. Especially your cap. Screw that cap, man. Stephen DeFore is staying at Turf Moor. Thank God for that. Hey, that rhymed. I'm a genius. Now, as you can see right there, lads, the game against Chelsea away is coming up. We're not far off now to our first game of the Burnley Criminal, lads. Oh, I'm pumped for this. I haven't really played FIFA 18 like at all. I've played like two games of, of like the early access. So the time is here, lads. Chelsea away. We beat them 3 2 in real life. Can we get a silly result? So remember, lads, we're playing on legendary, legendary computer. The hardest thing I possibly do. This should be a hard game, man. I mean, you're a very good side, and I'm not that great at FIFA 18. So. Let's go play a match. Oh, look at those kids, man. It looks so... Oh, I'm so looking forward to this, man. I'm like... I'm generally got like a buzz to play career mode. Now, one thing that someone did, in fact, recommend is to make Demoni captain. So, uh, there you go, guys. Demoni, the man himself, is the captain of the club, man. It was only meant to be, boys. So, this, lads, is the team we're going for for the first game of the season against Chelsea. Vox in the top. Hashtag Vox is back, lads. We've got our back four, the same thing, other than Otto Bodger's right back. We've got our midfielder, Brady, Morney, Cook, and Lennon. So, three of our main four signings are starting. Now, Chambers is on the bench. So, with that said, lads, let's get into the first game of the Burnley Crew mode. It's Chelsea away. Here we go. Yo, we got some cinematics here. Okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. That's at all. Chelsea versus Burnley. The first game of the season. Anything can happen here, lads. We can win the league this year. We can do a Leicester. You know, on Legendary, I, I, it's difficult, but it's not too hard that it is impossible. Now, uh, with this team, I don't know if we have a 4-4-2. I don't know if I may have to switch it up after this game. But let's see how it goes, boys. Jesus Christ, look at his hair. Look at Demoni there, the first man up there. Get in, boys. If we could do the same to what we did in real life, that'd be just be incredible. So, lads, welcome to the first game of the Burnley Crew mode. Smash by V Pumped and Sam Box. Let's go, boys. Here we go. So, first things first, I'm going defensive because I'm taking no chances. Demoni. Go on, Demoni, man. Demoni. He's, he's outside. Oh, no. Oh, he missed anyway, but he was offside. For God's sake, man. Look at me wearing my, wearing my tracksuit. Oh, oh, it was way offside, actually. He was so offside. Oh my god, how is he in so much space? Oh my god, over top, over top. Okay, to rock. I was supposed to go to Sam Volster. It works, it works, it doesn't. I've, I've got to be smart here. Let's not. He's finessed it. Oh no. That was that was too close, man. I thought that was, I thought that was it. Okay, that was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, no more of that. No more of that, man. Right now, Hazard in his pace. This is ridiculous how fast he is, man. Oh no, he's dummy dust then. No, 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 no. I don't like that. No, how's the ball? No, 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 no. How is the ball ricocheted off my player's legs perfectly into the path? He tries to cross the ball in and it goes off Ben Mee. Perfect. And I mean pinpoint perfectly into the path. I don't know how that's happened, but I'm actually quite annoyed by that. We're not done already. Okay. <laughs> I prefer the real life Burnley. Again, again. Go on. Go on. Danny's. Finesse it. Finesse it. Go on. <gasps> oh, save. Come on. The first shot. Come on! This is beyond ridiculous. d Morney. There you go. That's, see, that's why we play d Morney. He's got that strength. He's got that aggression. That's what we need. Go on. Use that, use that strength. Use that strength. Sam Volk's using that pace. Let's use in the box. He's in the box. In the box. Go! Go! Oh, no. He got into the wrong side of him. But we are attacking. We also want to make some passing plays. We are getting into this game, man. Oh, perfect pass. That perfect pass. No, 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 no. Oh, the bar job. Please. Make a good tackle away. No. How? What has just happened? I don't... Hazard, no. I near post. What game? I'm actually, I'm actually shocked. How did I go near post? 
Heaton, what are you doing? I'm actually starstruck here, lads. Like, I don't understand how that's just gone into the back of the net. We're 2 0 down. I mean, it is Chelsea away, which is kind of understandable, but we should not be 2 0 down. Actually, not like that. I feel like I'm letting you guys down, man. No, no, we're scoring a goal. I don't care. Run, 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 run. No, man, stop running. Fox, bang it, bang it. Oh, no, let's try to play a man. Oh, no. William, mate, his pace is scary, man. I'm 3 0 down. I actually have no words for what I am witnessing right now, like, honestly, like, William's pace, I just, I can't explain it, he just has to run in a straight line, and I cannot do anything about it, I genuinely cannot do anything about this. I think the 4 for 2 just is not gonna work, lads. I'm actually, I'm actually embarrassed, I'm actually, like, really embarrassed for what is going on right now. And it's half time. I have no words for what I've just witnessed, but I am, I'm embarrassed. This is just, like, real life, that we were 3-0 down at half time. No, well, well, they were they were three 0 down. Now we're three 0 down. Oh my days! I need to make a change. Four two three one. Now I'm gonna try um, Ings on top with Brady there. Minus a the CDM position. Let's try like this. Um, and at cam spot, I'm gonna try Steven the four and see if this could change anything. Cause I am not having any more of this. So walks off the four one, playing a four two three one, and see what happens here. Anything changes. Here we go. Pass and play. Make him make him run. Ings on his own. Bangs it. Let's go. Oh, it's, it's blocked again, man. Back again. Brady. Pass it through. Inks, Vanessa, go on! Oh, this is never say! Caballero, just suck my. Actually, no. We have family friendly channel now. Family friendly. Look at this, they're just running on wings. That's all they're doing. I can't do anything about it. I'm trying to run back. What are they doing? They're literally taking the piss out of us. I'm gonna have everyone saying Vizzer out right now. Back again, back again. No! We're all one pass away, man. Elena, man, you've gotta be doing better than that. The ball's literally a centimeter, centimeter away from you and you couldn't stop it. Run, Lennon. Pace, pace, pace. Crossing, just crossing in. Hope for the best. I don't know why I'm crossing to Danny Ings. He's like five foot ten, but this is how desperate I am getting. I'm trying to cross the ball into Danny Ings when I've got Chris Ward on the bench. Well, can we do something special with Defoe? No, because Baby York is literally stopping everything I'm doing. Free ball, Alan. Lennon. There you go. Good touch, good touch. Yes, yes, yes. No! No, 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 get my back. <laughs> that was it. That was it, man. We finally got into the back line and I ruined it. Oh, we can get one more goal. We'll get one more goal at least. Come on, boys. The four. The four. Finesse. That has to be it. I hate life. I hate life. We've just hit the bar. I hate life so much right now. This is a joke. And William. William is destroying my life right now. Please, 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 please. Back in. Back in. There you go. Ready. And on the left foot. Go. How many saves does he need? Back again. Here we go. Talk house again. Oh my god, Tarkowski! I hate- <laughs> I'm actually going to cry. That'd be it now. Full time whistle's coming now. And I'm actually- Oh, I'm devastated. That's it. That- That's it. I am absolutely devastated with that man. They've done nothing this entire taken off. All they've done is just run down the wings with their pace with running and Hazard and just put the ball back into the box. That's all they've done. Look at the full time stats, man. They're six shots towards our R8. They're three shots on target, three shots on target, three goals. We've had six. Ah, uh, so let's go advance. I feel like I've let you guys down massively here, like. Tune the four can't inspire Burnley. D don't, don't rub it in game. Don't rub it in. Now, before I do forget, I do need to implement squad training. Now, I almost did actually forget about this just now. I need to add this in. But who should I choose to train? So, that ain't for one. I think he should never be in there. Next up, D-Morning, just because I don't want to lose his stats, like, incredibly quickly. So, D-Morning, let's go keep his stats. So, that's number two. Death Hendrick is apparently a promising player. So, let's go, let's go with some ads some stats to it. Centre back, so Callum Chambers, we just signed him, so we'll be smart to get to choose him. And then last but not least, Alder Borgio, our right back end. With that said, that should be all our fun. So let's go simulate all, and let's see what we get for our first ever training um, training session as a Burnley manager. So we got A, A, A of D Mori, my man, C of Chambers and Hendrick, another A of Alder Borgio. So it's not that bad for our first set. But anyway, lads, that is the end of the second episode of the Burnley Crew Mode, lads. Let me know down below in the comments, who should I sell this team to make some space up for signings? Um, should I even make any more signings? What formation should I should I play? What squad do you think is probably best? Because I don't think 4 for 2 really works out. So let me know down below what should I do. And yeah, let's hope you guys enjoy. Let's smash 1,500 likes for the second episode of Burnley Cream 1. You guys' support has been insane. We in fact hit 48,000 today at the time of recording. So maybe they're halfway through that by the time you guys see this. We never know. But hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. My name is, I'll see you next time.